Hello friends, welcome to the Digital Electronics Practicals of FYBSC IT Semester 1. So here we are going to discuss about the basic logic gates and their ICs and how to interface these ICs. So the first practical is about study of logic gates and their ICs and the universal gate. So the logic gates are AND, OR, NOR as they are written here. Amongst that, there, there are some basic gates and then there are some combinational gates. These are the IC numbers that are used for this AND gate, OR gate, etc. So we are going to implement these gates on a breadboard in terms of circuit. Logic gates are basically the building blocks of any digital system. They are basically the electronic circuits which have uh, one or more than one input and one output. It is not necessary that they should have one output always. They can have multiple outputs as well. But the relationship between their inputs and output is based on certain logic. And that logic makes the different gates like AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate, etc. Zero volt is considered as logic zero or bit zero and 5 volt is considered as logic 1 or bit 1. Similarly, if they produce the output which is around 0 volt, then that will be considered as logic 0. And if they produce 5 volt or around 5 volt, it will be considered as logic 1 or bit 1. So in general, the output that logic gets give is one but in special cases there can be multiple output bits also can be produced by such gates one thing to note here is that there will always be a time delay between the inputs given and the output produced so this is how the logic gates can be studied the next gate is xor gate whose ic is ic7486 so this is exclusive or gate this is also a digital logic gate, but this is not from the basic logic gates, but it is a separate or exclusively different gate. Let us see the next gate, that is XOR gate, whose IC is IC7486. This XOR gate is also called as exclusive OR gate. So this is also a digital logic gate which gives the values in the form of high volt or low volt or high or low or true false. So here is the truth table for this XOR gate. So if we have two inputs then there are possible four combinations of inputs that is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. The output is written in this way where let us see the symbolic diagram first. So in symbolic diagram, it looks like a OR gate, but there is one more curve before it, which shows this is exclusive OR gate. So in exclusive OR gate, the formula of the output is A bar B plus A B bar. So here we can say if there are similar bits, the output will be 0. If there are dissimilar bits, the output will be 1. So here is the pin diagram. In pin diagram, of IC number 7486 we have four different uh, I mean we have four XOR gates so the first pin and second pin will be the inputs and third pin will be the output similarly fourth pin and fifth pin will be the input and sixth pin will be the output seventh pin is ground 14th pin is plus VCC then 13th and 12th pin will be input for this side and 11th pin will be the output, 10th and 9th pin will be the inputs and 8th pin will be the output. So let us see how this XOR gate can be implemented using a breadboard. So let us see how the XOR gate is to be implemented. So to implement XOR gate we require a breadboard, power supply, LEDs and IC. So this is the specific IC that we require that is 7486. So if you are going to hold up this IC like this with this notch upside you will find 7 pins on the left side and 7 pins on the right side. You can count the pins from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
similarly 8th 9th 10th 11th 12th 13th and 14th this 14th pin is to be connected to the plus vcc and this seventh pin is to be connected to the ground so you can place this ic in the breadboard like this now let us power up this ic so sure i'm connecting the positive and the negative of the power supply this power supply is of 9 volt and this ic works for 5 volt so i'll be using this register in between this register is around 220 ohm you can use up to 1 kilo ohm resistance in between to achieve this lower voltage so i'm connecting this register in this way so that my plus 5 voltage can be taken from this line this whole horizontal line will give me the plus 5 voltage in this line and this whole horizontal line will give me the negative connection now let us connect this 14th pin of the ic to the positive and 7th pin of the ic to the negative now i will be using this led to show to demonstrate the output of this ic so for an led the longer leg is the positive and the smaller leg is the negative also the smaller filament is the positive and broader filament is the negative so i'm using this led this way now the positive side of the led is to be connected to the output of the ic so for this ic xor gate ic first and second pin are the inputs third pin is the output similarly fourth and fifth are the inputs and sixth pin is the output so i'm using first three pin combination so this third pin is going to be the output and i need to connect this negative end of the led to the ground now i will be using this two as inputs so my first input is of this green color and the second input is of this blue color There should not be a loose connection just make sure that LED is connected properly so for XOR gate if both pins are going to be same it will not glow in case of different pins that is in case of different input led will glow so if one of my pin is going to be one and another pin is going to be zero or if one pin is going to be positive and another pin is going to be negative then only it will glow if i exchange this pins so i'm making this pin as zero and this pin as one this will glow but if I'm making both the inputs zero, it will not glow. And even if I make both the inputs to one, it will not glow. So this is what how the XOR gate can be implemented. Now I was using this first three pin combination. I will be using next three pin combination also. So I'm removing this now. So now the output will be shown at the sixth pin and my inputs will be at fourth and fifth pin so now for this xor gate as i said according to truth table if these pins are going to be like this that is if one pin is zero and one pin is one or high and low then only it will glow in case both the pins are same it will not glow so right now both the pins are one so it is not glowing similarly when both the pins are zero it will not glow but if one pin is zero and one pin is one then only it will glow so i was using this second pin combination similarly you can use this next three pins as next xor gate and another three pins are another xor gate so this is how XR gate can be implemented.